Hash, 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 the secret of Abel and Cain. Asterisk, asterisk, the nature of Abel and Cain. Asterisk, asterisk. Abel represents human nature, created from the clay and soil of the earth, nourished by plants and crops. He offered God a sacrifice of the Sabean system, a peaceful order without rulers and subjects, where all people are equal contributors to the building of agricultural terraces in the mountains. The mountains symbolize a system of governance that everyone helps construct. In this system, harmony and equality prevail, and everyone shares the responsibility of maintaining the community. Cain, on the other hand, symbolizes the Himyarite pastoral system based on herding and domesticating animals. This system is akin to the one of Iblis, Satan, and the self that commands evil, created from fire. Cain offered God a sacrifice of the Himyarite system, characterized by slaughter, killing, sacrifices, plunder, and destruction, a terroristic system founded on murder, war, and devastation for the sake of power and wealth. This system is driven by greed and a relentless quest for dominance, often at the expense of others' lives and well-being. Both systems, Sabean and Himyarit, were established in Yemen. It is worth noting that without fire, humans would not be able to consume meat, as our teeth are designed for eating plants, similar to those of sheep, cows, camels, and other domestic animals. The design of these animals' teeth is similar and distinct from the fangs of carnivores, which are designed for eating meat. Human anatomy, with its flat molars and lack of sharp carnassial teeth, suggests an original diet based on vegetation rather than flesh. God accepted Abel's vegetarian offering as a form of governance, but did not accept Cain's animal sacrifice, as it was inherently corrupt. Consequently, Cain killed his brother Abel, symbolizing the suppression of a peaceful agricultural system. Whenever a prophet emerged to reveal the truth, the descendants of Cain would kill him or follow him until his death, only to revert to their previous terroristic ways. This cycle of violence and suppression highlights the ongoing struggle between peaceful coexistence and aggressive dominance. Asterisk, asterisk, the secret of the raven, asterisk. Asterisk, when Cain killed Abel, Vultures and ravens came to tear his body apart and eat his flesh. Witnessing this gruesome scene, Cain regretted his actions and sought a way to protect his brother's body from predatory birds and wild animals by burying him, thereby burying the secret and truth of the peaceful agricultural system. This act of burial symbolizes the concealment of a harmonious way of life that was overshadowed by violent regimes. Asterisk, asterisk, why the raven? The raven is associated with death, especially on battlefields, where they feed on the bodies of fallen soldiers. However, on the other hand, ravens and other carrion-eating birds are seen as a means of transitioning to the afterlife. In Tibet, for instance, the bodies of the dead are cut up and left for vultures and ravens. This practice reflects a belief in the continuation of life through the natural cycle of death and decomposition. Interestingly, ravens accompany military transport vehicles from their camps to the battlefield, with their loud and disturbing cawing seemingly warning soldiers to turn back. This eerie phenomenon suggests an awareness of the impending doom and serves as a grim reminder of the consequences of war. The question remains. How did religious and political priests convince humans to eat meat and forget their vegetarian origins? Consequently, humans were transformed into killers and terrorists, sometimes in the name of religion, sometimes in the name of the nation, and at other times in the name of freedom, democracy, and human rights. This transformation raises profound ethical questions about the nature of power, violence, and the loss of innocence. Throughout history, the shift from a plant-based diet to a meat-centered one marked a significant change in human society. 
This change was not merely dietary, but also ideological, influencing social structures, religious practices, and cultural norms. The acceptance of meat-eating paralleled the rise of hierarchical societies, where power and wealth became concentrated in the hands of a few, often maintained through violence and coercion. Religious and political leaders played a crucial role in normalizing meat consumption, framing it as a divine or patriotic duty. By doing so, they reinforced systems of control and justified acts of violence. This manipulation of human behavior highlights 